Oranges and lemons, said the bells of St. Clemens. No, it is not a musical special, but we mm. are using citrus fruits in today's tips and tricks. So let's, let's start, start the, the show. show. This is an absolutely ingenious bottle. While we were in Sweden, we wanted some mouthwash to keep our breath fresh. So we picked up this bottle of Flux. And then when I got it back to the hotel, opened it up and discovered it had this weird contraption on the top. I thought, oh, what is this? But it turns out that there is a little tube inside and it picks up the amount of mouthwash that you just need for one gulp. So let's see, there's not much left now because we had to use it while we were there. But I kept this for the demonstration and I just hope that it still works. Look at that. Oh wow. <laughs> Woo, it's just about enough. And then you see, you can take a swig just like this. Mmm! Minty fresh and no waste. I have a nice tip and trick for you, and it involves a nice whole lemon. And I am going to be cleaning the microwave oven. It's really, really filthy because I haven't cleaned it for a really long time, and there's a lot of kicked in grease and dirt and grime and stuff that shouldn't be mentioned. So all we have to do is fill this with water. So why don't I do that now? Roll it to loosen up some of the juices. Um, and now I'm going to cut it in half and then placing it in the thing with water. And then I'm going to be microwaving it in the microwave for 10 minutes on high and the fumes from the hot acid lemon water is going to help remove some of the dirt and grime that has been built up in the microwave. So let's see how this goes. So I am going to be microwaving it for a good 10 minutes and then I'll be using a sponge to get out a lot of the dirt and grime that has been caked onto the microwave. So let's put it in. Microwave. So this is the high setting. So then 10 minutes and now we shall see how it goes after it finishes. You're going on holiday and you've got a spare pair of shoes or trainers. So where are you going to dump them? Just in the suitcase and get all your clothes dirty? Or maybe you're going to put them in like a plastic bag? Well, there's no need to do any of that because did you know that most suitcases have got a secret compartment, especially for dirty clothes? Let's put these to the side for a moment. Come over here to the suitcase. So here you have the lining. Nothing unusual about that. But look, what is this? There's a little zip. If you go like this, it undoes the lining and takes you to the outer part of the suitcase. And that is actually specially designed to put your shoes in. That's exactly what it's for. Most people don't know this, but now you do. Close up like this. You could pack it a lot better than that. But <laughs> now, your dirty shoes are in the suitcase, under the lining and away from your clothes, so they won't dirty anything else. We really know how to make a splash on 
It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. So please subscribe. Paul is cutting and peeling some oranges and he's going to make a special cleaning liquid for us. So you start by adding orange peels or a combination of other citrus fruits to a jar. Once the orange peels are to the top, you add distilled white vinegar or cleaning vinegar to the jar until all of the orange peels are covered. You then place the lid on top of the jar and put the jar in a cool, dark place for two to three weeks. Well, we haven't got two to three weeks to show you at the moment in this episode what will happen, but this is the first stage. And in our next Tips and Tricks episode, we will see if it has worked. Okay, so I have so far peeled two oranges. I didn't want to peel too much, but then I need to have enough to cover the whole jar. Like, I want to get all of it. Okay, fine. This should be enough now. Wait. So let's pack it in. <laughs> so I am using regular run of the mill white vinegar. I feel like this is going to splash. Is it making a sound? So vinegar, I'm not sure whether you already know this, vinegar helps get out some really hard to remove stains and it does help to naturally remove things without all these chemicals. So I think this is a really good way to utilize something that is natural in the environment and hopefully this will last for a really really long time maybe you should put it under the sink so yeah so i'm going to be putting it in a cool dry place and then we shall revisit this in three weeks time We have just bought a loaf of bread and we want it to stay as fresh as possible for as long as possible. We might only eat a slice or two every day and we don't want it to go mouldy. So what do we do? If you want your bread to stay fresh for as long as three weeks, simply add a stick of celery to the bread bag. The celery not only helps keep the bread fresh, but it also staves off mould growth keeping the product in date for longer. So Paul, you have cut a stick of celery and you've dried it thoroughly. We've got our nice new fresh bag of bread sitting there and we want it to stay fresh. So you're going to demonstrate what you need to do. I am trying this part because I just cut it and I just want it to be as dry as possible. Well, there's always going to be a tiny bit of moisture. So I'm gonna put it... It, it seems really tight. Ah, here. Yeah. Do you think one stalk of celery is enough? Well, that is one stalk cut in half, so that is one. So this is going to be enough, correct? Yes. So you've got your little tag that was taken off. The sticky thing. And then you'll put it back on. And then all you have to do is just keep it in the fridge, right? No. No. Oh, is this another tip and trick? Don't keep it in the fridge. No, because I think there's like moisture in the fridge. Ah. No, no. So it doesn't go in the fridge. No fridge. Oh, right. No fridge. So I am going to be putting it up into the cupboard and then it should hopefully be good to eat for a good three weeks. I think that is known as using your loaf. 
Now, if you want to use your loaf, you should subscribe to our channel. Isn't that right, Paul? Yes, it's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. And perhaps you would like to leave us a like or a comment or maybe even buy us a coffee and there is a link in the description. But you may have just heard the microwave ping and that is because the lemon and water that we put in earlier is now ready and miraculously the oven is going to be cleaned by itself. Isn't that right, Paul? <laughs> or is that wishful thinking? Oh yeah. Let's is. take a look. So this is really hot water. And so you use the water? Yes. And then I clean it like so. I should probably take this one out. The dish? Yeah. Why don't you sort of try a bit around the edge and then see if it actually comes off? Maybe it's more caked than I thought. Is it working, Paul? Look, there's like loads of um, dark marks. Oh, right. So something's happening. So I'm going to be using this because this will show more um, impact, I, I think. Oh, wow. Oh, it must be really, really dirty. Well, of course, there is one other special ingredient that you must use while you're cleaning the oven or anything for that matter. Gross. Do you know what that is, Paul? Uh, elbow cream? Yes, that's right. Well, and look. Paul has got plenty of it. Look. So I'm, Are you using the lemon as well? So I'm using the lemon and I'm putting it above. I think it kind of disintegrates. What, the dirt? No, the lemon. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that is definitely making an impact already. I hope so, because it's really hot. Well, we'll leave Paul to finish that job off, and I've got to edit this episode. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.